Hello Taurus viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. So let's just see what the cards have to say. In the last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that somebody was finally, you know, having this epiphany and realizing that they had to choose between their fear and their pride and their ego in losing you. Like they, they're realizing that they have to be vulnerable with you or that they're not going to have a second chance. So I think this is somebody who's probably really messed up with you in the past, I would say. Let's see what the cards say. I also have a raffle going on right now. Um, if you donate a dollar, you get a raffle ticket. And I will be choosing a winner on the 22nd. And if you win, you get a free in-depth video reading, private reading sent to your email. So you can donate through Cash App or PayPal. My information is below. And include your email when you donate. I also have paid private readings available too. All the details are below. All right, Tauruses, what's going on? with you guys all right what do we have here cold guarded distrusting and i think this is is this them or is this you i think it's a little bit you because they hurt you they um hurt you but i think that you've still been pretty vulnerable despite how hurt you were it's mostly them i think they've been cold and guarded and distrusting in the past i think that they weren't very fair to you Passion, romance, toxicity, red flags, hidden motives, beauty, mystery, and enchantment. Finances and career. Hesitation, mixed feelings, reconciliation. Lots of really back and forth energy here. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Third party distraction, karmic partner. New love and faded encounter. Move these over a bit. Okay, am I getting two different people? Is this the same person? No. This is two different people. Is one of them toxic? Yeah. See, this has been a really common theme for um, Tauruses. Is like I get a lot of you guys that have been coming out of abusive relationships or maybe like a pattern with abusive men or abusive women um also just emotionally unavailable people there's a few zodiac signs that this energy has been kind of consistent like you guys are transitioning and breaking those patterns i seem to be kind of led to help people you know break those patterns so that they can manifest you know a new love somebody who's you know going to give them what they deserve uh, and then this energy really comes through and again, it's been a common energy that I keep picking up lately that I think there's a, there's new love coming in for so many of you. Um, you are going to have the toxic ex coming back around. Now, this is somebody who just did not treat you well. This is somebody who they might have been abusive. They might have been, um, I'm going to talk down to you, might have just not been emotionally available. They were just cold, guarded, distrusting. They projected their own insecurities and their own fears and their own issues onto you. I think this is somebody that might have like gaslit you too. Somebody that would, um, you know, just blame you for things that weren't really your fault. Things that you didn't really have control over. This is just somebody who kind of didn't take responsibility for themselves. It's like the passion and romance. Like they wanted that with you or they maybe they had it, but it was just like not stable and I feel like they kind of focus more on their career or more on finances or just there there was like this third party energy so this could be a person like I feel like maybe for some of you they were cheating on you and they were just or they might have just been more focused on finances and career this could also be you maybe you're more focused on finances and career you kind of got tired of them hesitating and and Tired of them having, you know, mixed feelings, not being able to make up their minds. Um, I think you got kind of sick of that energy. But it's like now they're wanting to come back around. Now they're wanting this reconciliation. Now that you're trying to focus on yourself more and focus on just the beauty of the world more. Um, now they're wanting this reconciliation. But I mean, I don't know how trustworthy it is, though. You know, like I do see them coming back around and you might get some kind of like half ass apology. I do see them wanting to talk to you, 
but I still feel like there's red flags with this person. I still feel like a kind of toxic energy with this person, like they've got some hidden motives. I want to look into this new love because this is probably better for you. Like this is probably something you're going to want more. But again, it's up to you. You know, it's your path. But but personally, I wouldn't want this back. You know, I just I wouldn't want that back. But, but yeah, now that, now that you're kind of focusing on other things, it's like the grass is always greener on the other side. I get that a lot with this reading too. I feel like they kind of thought the grass was greener on the other side. Like they left you for something else, be it finances or another person or another, some kind of other energy. And now they're wanting to come back around. And a lot of it is just that they feel isolated, maybe because of COVID too, everything that's going on, but they feel lonely. They feel empty. They feel isolated. And I think this is how you would feel if you reconciled again too. Cause you, if this is, if this is your story, you'll know it. If it's not resonating, then it's not your story. But if it is resonating, then it's like, you know, this person's toxic already. This is somebody who's either abused you physically, mentally, verbally, somebody who just ghosted you, somebody who just was not fitting right with your intuition. Like something just felt off with this. Like you would have, you'd be aware of this. You know what I mean? Like this is, these red flags would be pretty loud. I think this isn't somebody who is a good person who just kind of messed up a little bit. This is somebody who's mentally, verbally, or physically abusive and um and yeah they're wanting to reconcile but again they're probably wanting to reconcile because they're they're isolated and alone and empty and the grass was not greener on the other side of the fence like they thought it was gonna be you know they want to have their cake and eat it too and it's like now that you're kind of moving on and you're focusing on other things and you're focusing on yourself more they're trying to drag you back in you might have cords you need to cut with this person too it could be that they're trying to just they're trying to pull you back in and it's like you have these astral red threads with everybody that you've connected with um so they can pick up on your energy and you can pick up on theirs so you might need to cut those cords out for those of you that were cheated on so for those of you that you know who this person is and they cheated on you, I think that they're going to come back and I think that they're going to reconcile and I think that you're going to find out that they're actually still talking to the karmic. I think that they're on the outs with the karmic right now a little bit like they might be fighting with them and they're feeling alone or they're just they're not communicating well with the karmic or maybe they're like on a break with the karmic and I think that this person is going to lie to you and tell you that you know, it's over with the karmic, you're, they're done, but the truth is they're just on a break or they're just having some miscommunication, but they're still in each other's lives. Um, so yeah, be prepared for that. Like if this person cheated on you and they come back around saying like, oh, there's, it's over with the karmic, we're good. Like, I don't, I don't feel like it really is. I think that they're just kind of on a, a little break or something going on and they're trying to make sure they don't end up alone. So they're trying to pull you back in here. Um, but I feel like you have new love coming in. So by the time this comes in, you might not even want it back. Or if it's just come in or it's coming in, it's like you might, you might already know they're lying. You know what I mean? Like you might be talking to somebody new and then they come in and try to pull you back in. And you're like, you already know they're lying. And you're honest with yourself about it this time around. And you've got this new love. You've got this person who's actually loyal to you. So you're not even going to want this anymore. Let's see about this new love. What's going on with the new love? Is this the old partner? This is the new person. Okay, there's this entire spread about the new person. Okay. Hmm. All right, cars, are you trying to tell me that this could come in faster than they expect? Yeah, okay. So I feel like you've got some damage from your ex, some like shyness, fear of rejection, fear of just, just pain, just, you know, general pain that everyone has, just not being, fear, fear of not being good enough, fear of reaching out. Maybe you used to be a little bit more confident and your ex kind of took that from you a little bit and you still have this little bit of like nostalgia longing for this or just nostalgia for yourself too, for getting that person back that you used to be. Um, I feel like this new love is coming in quick though. I do. So I feel like maybe you're inter you're going to be entertaining the ex or whatever the situation might be. And then it's like this new love comes in and you're like, oh, shit, this is actually a lot better than what I had before in the past. 
you know, because we've got mutual feelings, emotional depth. I see like a very passionate, romantic couple here. We've got this hidden truth coming out. I feel like this hidden truth is a couple different things. And it may be it's specific for you. Like there might be some specific messages about this truth that you, you're you intuitively reading, watching this video and you're like, oh, I know what that is. So that could be the case too. Um, I also see that it's just, this is, this new love is going to embrace you and accept you in ways that the ex didn't, you know, mutual feelings, emotional depth. You're not going to have to question and wonder how they feel. Um, they're going to let you know that the truth is going to come out. They're going to, they want to, they're going to confess their feelings to you. They're going to be upfront about their feelings. I think the hidden truth is also about your ex, um, either cheating or the karmic still being involved or whatever that situation is, or, um, whatever third party energy it was that was keeping you guys apart in the past. I think they're going to reveal that truth, but again, it's probably too little too late. Is there anything else we can say about the new person? So I don't want to look into the old person anymore. Okay. Let's be clear. New person only. What is that? What's up with the new person? Courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement. So again, much mentally stronger than your exes. This is somebody who embraces their feelings more. This is somebody who embraces love more. This is somebody who's going to be assertive, who's going to know what they want, who's going to go after what they want. Um, and I'm 11 minutes, 11 seconds into the video too, as I say that. So this is like, whereas your ex was kind of cold and guarded and distrusting and blamed other people for his or her faults. Um, this new person, it's like, they're just so much stronger. They're so much more courageous. They're so much more certain of you and of what they want in general in life. You know, what else can we say about the new person? End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough freedom. So yeah, again, breaking this pattern you've had with your ex or multiple exes that have been in that kind of cold, guarded, emotionally unavailable or toxic energy. You know, this is like a whole new cycle with this new person where they're not going to be um, like other people you've dated in the past. It's going to be like a whole new pattern, a whole new cycle, and they're going to be vulnerable and receptive and open to you you know i get a very i get a good energy from this new person taking it slow pulling them in getting to know each other again you know more grounded going at like a more stable pace um any sadness from the past is yeah choose a path here sadness fear of commitment do you want more pain and more people that are afraid of commitment or do you want to it could also be saying that you've moved too quickly in the past. That's kind of the message I'm getting here, actually, with these with these um, cards together here. Fear of commitment, sadness, and then choose a path. I feel that maybe you've gone too quickly in the past, or maybe people have kind of, um, like, drained your empathy or, like, your romantic nature. Like, they've taken advantage of that. So you kind of have to choose, like... Do you want to rush into things with somebody again and ignore the red flags and end up in pain because you're with somebody who's afraid to commit and afraid to love you properly? Or do you want to choose to, you know, take it slow and stand in your power and be confident and, and pull them in and get to know them well and have like a, a stable, healthy relationship instead of a relationship where you just jump in because you guys don't want to be alone? You know what I mean? Like this is a very... This is just a very different path for you. You know what I mean? You got to choose between these two paths. So, and again, this this uh, this new love, it's a very good energy. It's really this is somebody who's way more stable and mentally strong and grounded way more than than your ex was. So, you got to you got to choose what you want out of life right here. Um All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. If this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. And like I said, I'm doing a raffle, so if you donate a dollar, you get a free raffle ticket. And I'll be choosing a winner on the 22nd for an in-depth video reading. Thank you for watching.